In today's world, when we work from home, use the hybrid cloud, or implement IoT solutions, we need to figure out how to validate the users and devices beyond a traditional perimeter solution. These traditional models use technologies like firewalls, VPNs, virtual desktops to grant permission, but these technologies are also designed to protect a perimeter. And once something or someone has been authenticated, they usually have fairly open access behind the perimeter to everything. And this is an issue. So let's imagine that we have a walled city. And this walled city accepts delivery of a statue. And once the statue gets inside, because they accepted delivery, now the malicious nature gets discovered. Soldiers come out of the statue, and they now have pretty much free reign inside the city to do anything and everything that they want to do. This is what our traditional security models do, and we need to change this. So we have Kemp's Zero Trust Access Gateway and is a solution designed to simplify the application of a zero trust model for secure remote access to published workloads and services. Zero trust models are designed to apply security anywhere and anytime for each individual application. They authenticate who is connecting. We authenticate based on where this user or device is connecting from, and we authenticate what they are trying to do on the network to the application. It combines identity provider integration with intelligent content detection and policy enforcement to optimize and secure critical application infrastructure. So I can build my zero trust access gateway and it acts as a proxy or an application gateway between the users and the applications. It integrates with the identity provider authentication databases and it applies policies that the business has defined on who, what, and where can access these applications. So we have some sort of policy enforcement. And let me give you a use case. So here, let's assume my application is some sort of object storage database. And I'm a user, and I'm gonna define myself as a content creator. I'm creating these Lightboard videos and I'm pushing them to the object storage system for processing. When I connect to this application gateway, it is going to authenticate me through the IDP as a content creator and as such, then I have certain privileges, such as what I can do. I can read files, but more importantly, I can also push or put files into the system. So it is going to allow me, based on my information and the policy you defined, to push these files, these Lightboard videos, to the object storage system to do what I need to do. We can change the scenario. So for example, let's say I'm on location. I'm no longer on the corporate network. I'm connecting to a Wi-Fi through a fast food restaurant. And I go through the system and it'll identify Again, who I am, what I'm trying to do, but more importantly, where. Because I'm no longer on the corporate network, it might say, you need to do two-factor authentication. I need to do some sort of multi-factor authentication to really prove who I am and so I can do what I need to do. We can have different users. We can create different user groups that have different accesses. So we might have people that are doing post-production where they want to read the files, but they don't have privileges to write. So we can go through the system and through the IDP, identify who they are and enforce a policy to say, yes, you can read or get, but you can't put. 
This is the advantage of a zero trust access gateway where we can now customize policies based on who, what, and where for specific applications, no matter where they reside, whether it's in a data center, in a cloud, or some other scenario. Kemp's zero trust architecture provides unique value by native application-centric proxy capabilities. It integrates ex identity access management combined with intelligent policy application to enable strong controls for application and service access. With active network participation, it enables proactive application of the zero trust policy. Hopefully this quick overview of a zero trust access gateway and how it fits into your zero trust security model was useful and can help you understand how you can implement zero trust access gateways in your architecture when you're defining your zero trust models. Please continue to follow the Lightboard videos that we're producing, Lightboard Tech Talks, and subscribe to the Kemp YouTube channel. Like this video if you like the information that we gave you, and hopefully we'll see you in future videos. Thank you very much.